Hi, I'm Gail Hoag. I'm here with Gregory. Something we like to do sometimes is combine different geometries because when we do that, there is a synergy where we have more than what the individual forms would have been. And in this case, we want to show you what we've got when we took a large unity grid and placed within it Metatron's cube. And Gregory is going to explain to you about what that is and what it offers to you. This is Metatron's cube. Many of you are familiar with the importance of working with this form because it interacts with every single thing in the physical dimension and is working to ground those energies from the higher realms. Now, what we're doing in this case is working with Metatron's cube and we are combining it with the unity grid, which is um, a higher order of the icosahedron and the dodecahedron working together and creating uh, 60 triangles that all equal the face of the Great Pyramid at Giza. So this is a transcendent form and what we found is that when we put the Metatron's cube in the center of that form as we've done here, what happens is you get a combination between the two that is quite remarkable. Now, um, I have tied string. When we send it out to people, we put a spinner in here so you can spin this internal form. But I found that I love meditating under this. This is actually one of my favorite forms. I have it in the bedroom and it's over the chair where I like to meditate because when these two are separate, that's why I put the string in there. So they form separate energies. If there were wire connecting them or the spinner, which is metallic, what happens is the energies kind of blend, but I like them when they're kept separate. So that what happens is I'm meditating underneath and it takes me to realms of consciousness and realms of connection that are so transcendent out of my body, it's easy to immediately move into higher realms with this form. And yet, uh, I have an awareness of everything that's going on because the Metatron's cube is bringing it back into my awareness, into my consciousness. It's allowing me to put forth intent. This is one of the best forms for working with connecting intent of the physical with the higher dimensional realms. And indeed, that's where everything needs to really progress from to go into this dimension and to manifest things. It always starts at soul level. It always starts on the higher dimensional levels with our mental, with our emotional body. That's why for people that talk about manifesting and creation, they always talk about being in a good space so that your emotional body is balanced and, and you don't have any negative thoughts. It talks about um, you know, people talk about working with your intent in a focused way and having clear understanding that you're creating something and that you're feeling it already created. So this works with those aspects almost automatically where you don't have to work so hard on your emotions and on getting your mental state in order because you're taken into that realm immediately when sitting under this and meditating and it's it's a wonderful wonderful space that as i said is my favorite <laughs> so something that i find very important about this form is the out, outer part of this form the unity grid 
is so essential right now because of the time that we're in to move back into unity. And here we are, we've experienced so much separation, so much individuation, judgment, all the things that we've learned throughout our lives. And we're being called on at the soul level to come back into unity, to be able to remove those things that have kept us from coming back into that oneness once again. And this structure, particularly with the addition of Metatron's cube, the grounding capability that comes with this, assists us in being able to take those different aspects that we've been working with in our lifetimes and move them into a positive way that we can experience what it means to come back into unity and still keep the individual integrity of who we are, but not from the ego perspective, instead from the soul perspective. And that's one of the beautiful things about working with this form. When you go into those deeper places in meditation, in contemplation, and also in using your sense of intent, it supports you in being able to elevate to those new places of unity along with that place of who you are and all that you've created in the myriad of lifetimes that you've experienced on this planet. So it's a wonderful, wonderful structure and we hope that you'll take a look at it and see if that's something that you want to add to your library of possibilities. Thank you and blessings.